Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today video is another update on the Play PS2 emulator available for iOS devices. First of all I wanted to apologize for this video format since I'm away from home, and I will be using Siri to assist me today. Back to our main topic Play, has been updated to version 0.48 which bring compatibility improvements to some titles. Another fix with this update, is the improvement reworked frame limiter, this should increase performance in some games. Once again like I mentioned in my previous videos, always check the play. Compatibility list for better performance. All the links for the compatibility list, how to install play, in your iOS devices, and how to run this emulator will be listed in the video description below. Make sure to follow steps by steps in order to run the emulator properly. I will have an annotation that will take you to the video I mentioned. I had always included all the files necessary to run the emulator liking sources, and I made a Google Drive folder with all the files for your convenience. Make sure to check those links, those files are always kept updated at all times when updates are available. Even though the emulator has been updated some of the games are not working properly. Previously mentioned at the beginning of this video, the performance increases for some games, so far on what I tested is more for games included in the compatibility list, and some that have the status of in-game. A good example is this game I've been playing in the background of this video, Need for Speed Underground 2 which was requested by a subscriber to give it a try. Better now since the emulator has been updated to version 0.48. Need for Speed Underground 2 is currently under the in-game list, but it has major issues with the frame rate. Playing using Vulkan will crash the emulator up on GL is the better option. Do not upscale the resolution, it make the game unstable, and it will crash the emulator. These are the issues with this game running on the play. Emulator for iOS. Performance should be better on Android devices, especially for the new kid in town ear. Or SX2 currently the best PS2 Android emulator. Fingers crossed this emulator makes it to iOS devices. That's all the news I have for today. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share this video. If you have any question leave them down below. And once again thank you for watching.